What is up and welcome back. And this video is going to be for shooters. If you're out there trying to be top tier shooter in your area, you're planning to go to college and play ball, or maybe you've been wanting to make it to the NBA, this video is gonna help you out a whole lot. And the reason why I say it's a wake up call because I do see a lot of young players or just basketball players in general that miss a lot of shots. And when they're out there in warm ups or just shoot around, they do make a few hits here and there, right? A couple shots in a row. But when they get into actual game situations, I see that they miss a whole lot. And the reason for it is because they don't practice a lot of different shooting positions. Because in an actual game, you're not always gonna get the ball exactly how you like it, right? Right here in the center, perfect time to get the shot off. It's gonna be a lot of different scenarios. So in this video, I am gonna try to help you out so you can improve a whole lot. So I am going to use one of the best all-time shooters as an example, Steph Curry. Now, that guy's skill set is top tier, one of the best ever. And the reason for it, I'll give you an example. He can come off a screen, right? And the pass can be a bad pass, kind of high, and he'll catch it. And he'll be standing straight up like this. And he's able to shoot that shot from that position. Now, let me ask you this. Which of you guys or gals out there practice that type of shot? Do you guys practice standing straight up and shooting from this position? Most likely not. That's why when it's a game situation and the ball's kind of high, you have to catch it and bring it down. And that buys the defense time to come up and play defense to lock you up. Or you're catching it and the clock's almost running out, shot clock or at the end of the game, and you're catching it and then you're trying to shoot it and you get blocked or you miss again because you don't practice that type of shot. So you were able to practice this right here, right? And put it into muscle memory, that percentage would go up, okay? That's one example. The other one's going to be, which of you guys or, or gals practice shooting when the ball's kind of low, right? You have a low bounce, a bad pass once again, and you practice going straight up. Because that takes a different skill set than catching it like this, and then you dip and release, right? Because if you're catching it and again, you're gathering and then shooting it, you might have that defender on you, okay? Or if you don't practice that type of shot, you're most likely not gonna feel confident when you're picking it up to shoot it, okay? And it could be the instance, something so simple as maybe you do lose somebody with a crossover and you just happen to get a low dribble, right? So if you're able to practice that, then you're just gonna become better at making those shots. So we talked about shooting at different levels, right? Shooting from a low level, the medium level, and then being straight up. Practice all those, because it's gonna be good for you. It's gonna make you better out there. It's gonna be more dangerous. Now, what about footwork? I know a lot of players, they do shoot with the two-step. In a different video, I'll talk about two-step versus one-step. You're walking towards the defender with two-step sometimes, right? You're and then you might actually get blocked sometimes. Not always because that's a real natural and it feels comfortable to shoot like that. I like shooting like that. The one, two, where there's the chance or the hesitation, right? That's real comfortable. I, I like it, right? So it's very beneficial. But try to add different positionings and stances because if you can shoot with the one step, it's gonna throw that defender off. You can just be. You see, the one step, okay? So again, the two step is very good, but it can take you closer to the defender and it can take more time to shoot. One, two, then you're letting it go. You can minimize that by just doing a one step or shooting from the neutral position. You can be like this, look, you're claiming this area already with this foot and then you're coming back to the neutral position. You create that space and let it go. So there you're actually taking a step back. How many of you guys actually practice taking one step back, okay? That could be like the step back. See, I'm actually taking two steps back on the step back, like that, okay? One step going back to the neutral or an actual step back, okay? Now I'm going to give you a different positioning that can be a lot more advanced 
And this right here, I have noticed, it does throw defenders off a whole lot because they're expecting to see what they usually see. But if you're able to actually move this step behind your frame, which can be called a negative step, you're moving it backwards, right? It can throw a lot of defenders off because they might be expecting to drive, right? When people go like this, they can be driving, right? Or just the fact that you're retreating, if you're going like this, you see that? It kinda looks like I'm retreating. But then you pull up, you see that? And you pull up. So that technique can be a lot more difficult to learn, but anything can be achieved with enough practice and reps. The whole point of this video is to just open up your mind so you have the idea of different possibilities. And that's what it's all about. Now that type of stance can be a little bit more tricky, but you can get it down with enough reps. The whole idea of this video is to be honest with yourself, a wake up call, and you can see what you have and what you don't have in your skill set. And again, anything can be obtained just with enough practice, okay? So, Let's keep it moving. I'm gonna show you a few more. How many reps and hours do you have on this shot? Probably a whole bunch, right? Somebody's gonna say 10,000 hours. That's the number everybody wants to hit, correct? Okay. What about how many hours do you have by picking up the ball off your side, off your frame? 300, 400? Remember, in an in-game situation, you're not gonna get the ball always perfect where you catch and you have time to load up. Sometimes that ball's gonna come over here and you just gotta let it go, right? So how often do you practice that? Because sometimes you're not gonna have time, like we're saying, to move it over here, especially if the defender's coming this way. If you're moving the ball like this, you're moving the ball closer to that defender, you see that? So you have to learn to catch and be able to shoot from these type of positionings, you see that? The ball's being kind of rotated at this diagonal, you're catching it, to shoot like that. Okay, or if you're fast, maybe you can bring it in a little bit inward like this and shoot it. But I would feel more confident and more protected if I'm looking this way and I have to bring it like this, I feel he might be on me, right? But if I catch it and I'm bringing it like this, right? I might get that off before he arrives. So it's just something you have to practice. And I know that's not the most comfortable feeling when you're not even looking at a defender of the ball's coming. It's a bad pass behind you, right? You gotta catch it and turn. You can protect yourself a little bit with this arm right here. See that? Protect yourself a little bit. So there's a lot involved in that, right? Because if you don't practice that, that's not even gonna be a possibility. You're just gonna catch it, and then you're not gonna feel confident, okay? And that can mean maybe you're up against the shot clock. Maybe you get blocked if you're gonna take that shot and you're not practicing it, okay? So all these variables, this is what I'm talking about. If you're trying to be a great shooter, you're going to be aware of all these things. And if you're trying just to be an okay player, you're not gonna think about these things. You're not gonna practice them. And like we said in the beginning of the video, we're going to keep it real. So think about where you're at. What do you practice? I'll give you one more, okay? It's rare that I see players do this intentionally. And what I mean by this is Steph does this a whole lot, right? He'll cross this foot over, over like this, and he's actually moving and shooting at the same time. He's going like this, okay? Because you have the side step, which is one step, and the step back, which can be like a one step, right? Now look how much space you create when you're actually crossing your feet over. Right? Look, I was over here. Look where I end up. Right? Going the other way, crossing that foot over. You see that? Okay. So it's all about thinking how you're going to outperform your opponent. Because if he's right in front of you and you take those steps sideways, right? Now it's a lot more distance to play defense on. So again, if you're trying to be top tier, you're trying to mimic some of the best shooters out there, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Ray Allen, all those guys, they have a skill set where they can learn to jump real high and shoot. So you're getting peak height on your jump and 
release a shot that's arching all the positions that we talked about up here sideways the two step one step then moving back to the neutral the negative right and then moving with the ball so you're creating a bigger gap you can see that all this adding all this to your game is going to make your skill set a lot larger you're going to have more opportunities to shoot not just when you're wide open or you do a combination of moves right now you're going to have a whole bunch of more options in order to make more shots and if you practice these because it's all about it's not just knowing about them you can know about them but if you don't practice them then it's not going to be that useful you actually have to work on them throw them into muscle memory where they feel easy where you're not even thinking about it then you're going to start seeing those shots going more and more so that's going to do it for this video hopefully you learned something like i said hey this video is going to be a wake-up call for all the shooters out there if you're trying to get your game up make sure you learn all this that we're talking about and be honest with yourself so if you do like what we're talking about here we are trying to climb to a thousand subscribers so every little bit does help i do appreciate anybody that could sub we're going to keep it going bring you more of these videos and like always i appreciate everybody and i'll see you on the next one peace mm -hmm.